Uh, Omar Abdul Karim's last question, she says that after a girl finishes high school and she is ready to go to the university, what is the best field for her to uh, accomplish and to study and to do? Uh, with whether this includes studying Arabic studies or Islamic studies, this is something that the girl should have a say in it. It is not that we direct our children to must take a specific thing or to study something specifically as we wish. So many times the parents make the common mistake of enforcing, forcing their children to study medicine, forcing their children to study engineering. A doctor wants his child to be a doctor. A lawyer wants his son to be a lawyer. And this is wrong. Give them their free choice and guide them, direct them. But give them their free choice. At the end of the day, this is how they will uh, end up living, not always under your control and your command. Having said that, it is definitely one of the best things to do to study Arabic and Islamic studies, if this is possible. Because in this life, we are in this world for a short period of time, and after a while, we will end up dead. And whether in heaven or in hell, this is in Allah's knowledge. We all pray that Allah makes paradise our adobe, final adobe. However, to facilitate this and to make it easier, learning Islam, learning Quran, learning Arabic, learning your religion would definitely give you uh, uh, an advantage. So if you are able to teach your daughter Arabic so that she can read the Quran and understand it by herself, and she can learn from the uh, thousands of books of knowledge on the tafsir and on the sunnah, on fiqh, etc., then definitely this is good. But you can't expect everyone to be as such, devoted and motivated. So give them guidance, direct them, and if they choose something that is halal, which has no, no free mixing and uh, there's nothing haram in it, then this is also permissible and Allah knows best.